All right, I'm going to try to do this quiz eight study guide here and record it and post it to YouTube for you. So here's these seven problems worked out. And for problems one and two, they're looking for the vertex and the axis of symmetry. All right, so your A is two, your B is four, and your C value is negative 10. And our X at the vertex is equal to the opposite of B over 2a or 2 times a so that's the opposite of 4 over 4 so that's negative 1 so that means our x at the vertex is negative 1 which means our axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1 so in order to find the y at the vertex, we substitute this negative 1 back into the equation where the x's are. So our y at the vertex will be equal to 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 minus 10. Oh, negative 1 squared is 1 times 2. We get 2 minus 4 minus 10. And our y at the vertex is 2 minus 4 minus 10, I think, is negative 12. Negative 12. So there's your vertex. <clears throat> and axis of symmetry. Number two. So our x value of the vertex is 4. That makes our axis of symmetry x equal to 4. So we substitute the 4 into the original equation to get the y value at the vertex. Four squared is 16 times negative 2. Negative 32 plus 64 minus 16. So our y at the vertex is So there's your vertex and your axis of symmetry. All right, so number three and four, they want the minimum or maximum. 
min or max, max or minimum value of the function and the range. Well, as soon as we look at this function, this a value right here, this is your a, this is your b, and this is your c. This a value is positive, so this thing goes up. And if this graph goes up, then its vertex is at the bottom. And if its vertex is at the bottom, then the graph is going to have a minimum value. And the minimum value is going to be your y value at the vertex. Alright? So in order to get the y value at the vertex, we need the x value at the vertex first. So our x at the vertex is equal to the opposite of b over 2a, which is the opposite of 4 over 4, which is the opposite of 1, which is negative 1. So your x at the vertex is negative 1. Now your y at the vertex, substitute. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2 minus 4 minus 16. So our y at the vertex negative 18. Our y at the vertex is negative 18. That makes the minimum value of this function negative 18. The range since the graph goes up the range, which is your y values, all of your y's are going to be greater than or equal to negative 18. Same question. This graph, the A value is right here. Here's your B value, and here's your C value. Since the A value is negative, this graph goes down. Since the graph goes down, the vertex is at the top, which means that this function will have a maximum value. and then we need the range. And to determine both of those, we need the vertex. So our vertex, our x at the vertex is equal to the opposite of b over 2 times a, which is the opposite of 20 over negative 4. 20 over negative 4 would be negative 5, and the opposite of negative 5 would be positive 5. So there's your, your vertex has an x value of 5, and to find y at the vertex we substitute. So y at the vertex is equal to negative 2 times 5 squared plus 20 times 5 minus 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mentioned that those are incorrect. Five squared is twenty-five times negative two. It's negative fifty plus twenty times five is a hundred minus two. 
So 50 negative plus 100 minus 2. And y equals 48. So y at the vertex is 48. All right, so the max value of this graph is going to be 48. The range is going to be all of our y values in this graph will be less than or equal to 48. All right, when that graph goes down, your range is going to be less than or equal to. When that graph goes up, your range is going to be greater than or equal to. And it's always the y value at the vertex. Here and here, these are both the same. And this A determines this value. If it's negative, the graph goes down. If your A value is positive, then your graph goes up. All right, and then five, six, and seven, three problems where you gotta write them in vertex form. Remember, vertex form is y, or f of x, equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Well, again, your x value at the vertex, your x value at the vertex is going to be equal to the opposite of b. All right, your b is negative 2 over 2 times a. So that's 2 times 1 in this case. So our x at the vertex is the opposite of negative 2 divided by 2. And negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. So our vertex has an x value of 1. Our y at the vertex we get from substituting. So y at the vertex is equal to 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 8. So our y at the vertex, 1 minus 2 plus 8, that's equal to 7. So our y at the vertex is 7. All right. Back in this original equation, whatever's between the equal sign and the x, that's your a. This is your b, and here's your c. So this is your a, which when there's nothing in there, it's a 1. All right, so your a is equal to 1. So in vertex form, y is equal to, we don't put anything in there because a is equal to 1, x minus 1 squared plus 7. There's your vertex form of that equation. Number 6 is just like number 5. So I'm not going to repeat, but I will do number 7 because the A is negative 1. So here's number 7, which is y equals negative x squared plus 2x minus 8. Your vertex form is y equals A times x minus h squared plus k. Our x at the vertex is equal to the opposite of b over 2 times a. And our a value now, since there's a negative sign in front of that x squared, our a value is negative 1. So our x at the vertex is the opposite of 2 divided by negative 2. 
2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1, and the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. What? Yes. So our, our x at the vertex is 1, and our y at the vertex is going to be the opposite of 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 8. So y at the vertex equals negative 1 plus 2 minus 8 and y at the vertex equals 1 negative plus 2 minus 8 negative 7. Again, our a value is equal to negative 1. So in vertex form, this function is y equals, just a negative sign, x minus 1 minus 7. There's your vertex form. Any questions on any of those problems? All right.